Ray Davis is one of my all-in players, one of my highest rostered players throughout this offseason, and I'm going to keep drafting him as I finish out my drafts in the next few days or, or, or a few weeks leading up to the uh, week one. Uh, so Ray Davis, I think at this point, if we looked at how he played this preseason, at least the first two games, I, I think he's pretty much locked up that number two running back spot. Now, there were reports from a beat writer saying, hey, it's going to be a, a, a two-way, two-B situation with Ty Johnson. I think Ray Davis is ultimately going to emerge 80 total yards, 15 carries, a 33% misforced tackle rate. Uh, yeah. Three and a half yards after contact, according to uh, pro football focus, for any running back with 10 or more attempts. Uh, we know that Ray Davis, fourth round pedigree coming in, uh, just over 1,450 yards from scrimmage, 21 touchdowns last year uh, in Kentucky. Now, 5'8", 211, James Cook, 5'11", 190. So, your prototypical in-between the tackles runner, he can catch the ball a little bit as well. Now, this running back two role in Buffalo, it has standalone value. And I don't think, you know, I know a lot of people, they want it to be James Cook. James Cook isn't it. And Buffalo has been telling us, and I say it all the time, teams like the Bills, teams like Tampa Bay, they're literally telling us that they like the running back that they have, but they don't love the running back they have because they keep trying to re not replace, but get a compliment, give somebody else some of that workload. And it, with Buffalo through the years, it's been guys like Damian Harris, Latavius Murray. I, I think two years of Latavius Murray at his age. Uh, they even kicked the tires on Leonard Fournette, Ty Johnson. Uh, they also are, are giving a lot of, of those short yardage carries to Josh Allen, which is great for fantasy, but you're as Josh Allen gets older, you don't want him absorbing those hits. So why not give it to your, your RB one, if you believe you have an RB one. So let's break down these red zone touches a little bit more last season. The bills awarded Murray, Dame Harris, Ty Johnson, and even Leonard Fournette for Christ's sake. 36 carries in the red zone. James Cook had 33. So combined, all of those complimentary backs had three more red zone uh, carries. And then if we look at usage inside the five, um, those gr that group of running backs combined for 16 carries inside the five-yard line. James Cook only had five. Uh, there is a need for a power running back in this offense – the power running back spot in this offense is going to have standalone value in fantasy football draft. So like Ray Davis, isn't just a handcuff. This is a player that you can get now. His ADP might be a little bit more expensive than it was, but he's still relatively cheap for not only a handcuff, but again, legitimate standalone value. Like I believe he has, you know, people were drafting Charbonnet last year thinking he was going to have standalone value. He, he did not. Like I, I, I value Ray Davis, a lot higher than Charbonnet did last year, a lot higher than people are looking at uh, Benson this year. Uh, so, like, this is a player that I'm trying to walk out of a, a lot of fantasy drafts with, and I will continue doing so. Like, I, I just think that there is a world where Ray Davis could be a, a 8, 10, 12 touchdown scorer this season. And I, I think that's a hot take, but I, I think that is a feasible hot take considering all of the red zone and goal line work that went to complimentary running backs. And again, like Josh Allen, 15 rushing touchdowns. That's an outlier. He's usually in that seven to eight range. So like, sure, if Ray sure. Davis continues on this path, he's going to, I don't know if it's a league winner, but man, he, he's going to return some immense value at cost. Even if Josh Allen gets like, you know, you mentioned like seven or eight, even if Josh Allen gets nine or 10, you know, there's still touchdowns left there to be had. I mean, I'll I'll be honest. I this is the beauty of podcasting with Anthony is when he first started talking about Ray Davis, I was like, eh, I don't know, man. But the more and more yeah. I looked into it, the more and more he spoke about it, I started to buy into it. And again, the cost is absolutely undeniable. I mean, yeah. it's 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 a lot like what Steve was saying too about the cost of these players. We're going to get into some players soon that are a little more high priced, but we still consider them sleepers. I think he's going as like yeah, the RB 50 right now in the FFPC yeah. RB 50. That's, that's like, crazy. You know? Yeah, no, I'm with you.
I'm with you. Did anybody else have anything to give Anthony on that Ray Davis pick or no? Yeah, I like Ray Davis a lot. Been drafting him a lot. I like his talent. Uh, and Pete posted something. Uh, guy, you know, kid grew up in a crazy situation, foster homes and whatnot. Really had a tough, tough upbringing, but made it through, through all of that. And now is, you know, a possible starter in the NFL. So great story. Very good mm-hmm. player. And I really like the situation he's in. Pizza up you because he's chewing food usually, but we've had <laughs> that was from that was from Dane Brugler from the Athletic. Who if there's a there's a couple of guys that during draft season that I listen to. It's Dane Brugler and it is Daremi- uh, J- Daniel Jeremiah. Those are the mm. two guys I mm. trust the most when Jeremiah's it comes good. to evals. And Dane Brugler had Ray Davis as a top ten running back in this draft. He said he'd make an he he's gonna he's gonna be a guy that's not gonna take a lot of time to develop. He is older, he's 24. But like to Anthony's point, like last year James Cook had 29 attempts uh inside the 20 yard line. Latavius Murray had 20. Like Cook only had 45 of those, and then he only scored one touchdown inside the five. There was there was even I I'd have to look up the stat, but it's even inside the five is even worse for James Cook. And Murray is even closer when it comes to attempts. Yeah. I just don't think that this team is as in love with him. And the only thing I would say, and then and then we'll move on, is Sean McDermott's an old school coach. James Cook is a mental errors kind of running back mm-hmm. with the fumbling, with the dropping yeah. of the football. I remember in a game last year, James Cook fumbled. We didn't see him until the second half. Like Sean McDermott's that kind of coach, very Bill Belichick in a way sometimes with his running backs, in my opinion, where it's like you mess up, like you're kind of in the doghouse. But unfortunately, they just haven't had anybody good enough to get what I had a James Cook and James Cook. People say he was fourth in the league for yards last year. He faced like the 45th most loaded boxes, like mm, yeah. out of all running backs, like he wasn't tasked with like heavy boxes so sure like his yeah, yards good, or he's, contact he's still a good back james cook i just think fourth round is uh you know like last year was seventh round and now mm. like you said you have a quality running back like ray davis and that's one of the reasons i haven't been clicking on cook that much this year yeah, yeah. I, I don't i don't even i like I his talent i think, I think he's, he's a team sure. pass, pass, pass catcher i don't if i was naming the top 20 running backs in the league Outside of fantasy football, he wouldn't even make that list for me. You know, Sorry, I know I, I, I really, really want to about that, but uh, yeah, I mean, he definitely killed them with some big drops last year. Yeah, that's the thing so, I worry about. I just, and Ray know. Davis actually was pretty sure-handed as a receiver. Mm-hmm. I was say, you know, people talk okay. about the running back dead zone, and and that could be in a different spot for, in, in drafts or for different analysts. My running back dead zone starts with Josh Jacobs, James Cook, Rashad White, Kenneth Walker, Alvin Kamara. That's my running back dead zone. Like I, I will take other positions, and I listen. My bust for today's show, I, I last minute changer from Josh Jacobs. Right. You know, I, I don't like any of these running backs. And even Rashad White, like my other pivot sleeper was Bucky Irving. So a uh, couple of quick things I'll just run through and then we'll go on to uh, Pete Sky. Um, we did Rashad get White, captain in inefficiency. We did get who's a better sleeper, Blake Quorum or Ray Davis. I think based on what we're telling you, I think we all like Ray Davis more. Mm, or I, I like Quorum somebody more. you like. I like Quorum more. more. I like I do. Davis more, um, but I, I I like Davis more, but Quorum, if he gets that opportunity, yeah. he might not yeah, look back. That that's um, why I prefer Quorum. Yeah. Um yeah, Quorum just, has more upside, I think. Yep. Yeah, you probably agree. yeah, this guy's probably right. But yeah. Um, just because right. of that offense and the way McVeigh uses his running backs. Sure. I, I think yeah, I think Davis time. will produce for us earlier on, but I think Quorum mm-hmm. has yeah. the biggest potential. And at that point where you're drafting them, yep. you know, it's it, you know, you don't, 